Even though it's just a, a it's not just a car, but it's a, it's a, it's the car I wanted. So to have what I wanted and and achieve that was really, yeah, really great. When I separated from my husband, he had always said I'm not allowed to have a ute. So my first option when we separated was to go out and buy my ute. <laughs> so that's where, yeah, that's where it all started back in 2010. Showing how to get over a divorce in style, Samantha Holter has spent the last eight years carefully transforming her utility tray-backed car, or ute for short, into a tribute to Batman's most infamous enemy, the Joker. The Joker, he's out of the box. He's got to be the, the one and only that's really out of the box. So he doesn't do anything along the lines of, of uh, the normal. So a female owning a ute is definitely not normal. Some of the main um, interesting features of my car would have to be we started with the murals. Um, I also have lighting, some interior work. There's um, Dan's custom car lights, which are the headlights. We have the mask that's been made for me. That's uh, it's actually um, attached to the subwoofer. That's actually in the, the back on the back wall. We we just decided to do that to tie it all in with the Joker theme um, to take to shows. Despite not originally having support to buy the car of her dreams, Samantha's friend Peter has been on hand throughout the entire building process. Peter's helped out. A, a hell of a lot, cutting my labour costs and, and yeah, just getting everything done and sounding just, yeah, just great. So I've helped Sam a fair bit since, since I've been on the scene. Um, I've redone all the back, I've pulled all the stereo out, put heaps of lighting in, projectors in the back, I've done projectors under the motor. I made the Joker mask that's in between the two front seats, as well as when we go to car shows, um, I got a clown mask I put on just to carry the theme through and to scare people a bit. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. The whole process conversion, it would have cost me, I, I have stopped counting, probably on the 60, 60 to, to 70,000 minimum on, on just modifications so far. Samantha feels women are often a minority amongst car fanatics, but hopes to be an instrument for change. When we're out in those, at those shows, usually Peter is asked, um, that if he owns the vehicle, um, and, and of course, all, straight up, he always says no, that I'm the owner. I've had people just absolutely just ignore me. Uh, they won't acknowledge it. They, I guess they just can't believe that it's, it could be a female's car. It doesn't matter who you are, every person has the right to be a car enthusiast, and if they've got a passion for cars, feel free to do it, whether they're female or male, it shouldn't matter. Women definitely should get into more to the cars. Um, have fun with them, enjoy them, go out, have sh go to shows, meet new people. Despite the pushbacks that Samantha has had, her car is a huge source of pride for her. It has to be a proud moment, of course. Um, I've got this far, I've done it on my own. I've got a, a, a wall full of trophies, ribbons, and yeah, it's just yeah, somewhat, something you can take out there and be proud of.